Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting algebraic challenge. It is from quartic equations. x power 4 plus 8x is equal to 2x square plus 3. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing our quartic equation to one side. So minus 2x square plus 8x minus 3 equal to 0. Now I will write our quartic equation in the form of product. 8x minus 3 can be written as x square plus kx plus m. As there is multiplier 0 for x cube term. So I can write x square minus kx plus n. Now you can see this k and k negative k would be same as we do not have x cube term. Now I will expand multiply. So I will be writing x power 4 the very first term. Then I will be having m plus n minus k square times x square. Then x coefficient I will be having k times n minus m times x and constant would be m n. Now we will compare both sides, the coefficients. So if I will compare x square coefficient from both sides, it is m plus n minus k square. So let me frame equations m plus n minus k square equal to minus 2. Second equation will come by comparing both sides for the x coefficient. So I will write k times n minus m equal to 8 and third term, third equation we will write for comparing both sides constant term. So I will be writing mn equal to minus 3. So there are three equations. We have to simplify or we have to solve it for m and n. Let's simplify or solve. From first equation I will write m plus n value. So it is equal to k square minus 2. From second equation again I will write n minus m value. It would be 8 over k. Now if I will add and subtract these two then I will be having n and m in terms of k. Let us find out and then we will use equation number 3. Let us add both the equation. So I will be writing after adding and subtracting, I will be getting n and m value. So if I will add both the equation, then I will be having n term. So 2n is equal to k square minus 2 plus 8 over k or n is equal to 1 over 2k in bracket k cube minus 2k plus 8 and once I will subtracting then I will be writing m value. Let me write m is equal to 1 over 2k k cube minus 2k minus 8. So here we have calculated actually m and n. Now I will use equation number 3. Equation 3 was mn is equal to negative 3. Let's put the value of m and n. So I will be writing k cube minus 2k plus 8 times k cube minus 2k minus 8 divided by 2k times 2k 4k square equal to negative 3. Now you can see a plus b a minus b. So I will write a square minus b square formula. So it will become k cube minus 2k whole a square minus 8 square so 64 equal to 4 times 3 minus 12 k square. If I will apply now a minus b whole a square formula then this equation will be k power 6 minus 4 k power 4 and 2k square is 4 k square minus 64 equal to minus 12 k square. Take all the term to one side. 
So I will write k power 6, then minus 4 k power 4, then 16 k square, then minus 64 equal to 0. Now from first two term, k power 4 is common. So once I will take k power 4 common from first two, I will be having in the bracket k square minus 4. And once I will take 16 common from last two, then I will be having same bracket k square minus 4 equal to 0. So factorization is done k power 4 plus 16 and k square minus 4 equal to 0. Now let us equate both brackets with 0 equal to 0. So from here we can write k power 4 is equal to negative 16. I will reject this as it will generate complex solutions. So rejected as complex solution will generate. Now come to the second bracket. So I will be writing k square minus 4 equal to 0. So k square is equal to 4. Take a square root both sides. So I will be writing k equal to plus minus 2. So ultimate value of k is plus or minus 2. So if I will calculate now m and n. So we have to consider k equal to plus 2 or minus 2. So let's check. Here I am taking k equal to minus 2. Here I am taking k equal to plus 2. What was the expression of m earlier? m was k cube minus 2k minus 8 over 2k. Let's put the value of k. So this is our m and n is plus 8 only. So let me calculate m first. m equal to minus 2 cube minus 8 minus 2 of minus 2. So plus 4 minus 8 over minus 4. See I will be getting minus 12 over minus 4. So I will write minus 3. So minus and minus it will be plus. Minus 12 over minus 4. So 3. m equal to 3. Similarly n if you will calculate k cube minus 2k plus 8. This time it is plus over 2k. Let us put k equal to minus 2. So minus 2 cube is minus 8 plus 4 plus 8 over minus 4. So this time this value will be over. It will come out negative 1. Done. Now come to k equal to 2. m I will be having simply put here k equal to 2. So I will write 8 minus 4 minus 8 over 4. So this time I will be writing minus 1 and n if I will put here I will put k equal to 2 then I will write 8 minus 4 plus 8 over 4. 16 minus 4 12 over 4 so 3. Now you can see the value of m for k equal to minus 2 it is value of n for k equal to plus 2 and similarly the value of m in k equal to 2 it is matching with so if i will put this value you will get the same result same product of biquadratic form so let me write here i will write our quadratic equation as x power 4 plus 8x minus 2x square minus 3 equal to x square plus kx plus m times x square minus kx plus m. So let us put the second case or first case. It will generate the same set of product. Let me write. So I will write now x square plus 2x minus 1 times x square minus 2x minus 1 plus this is this value is n so i will write plus 3 equal to 0 now you can see if i will put both the brackets equal to 0 i will get four solutions so let me write here x square plus 2x minus 1 equal to 0 
x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. If I will solve first quadratic equation, so x will be equal to minus b, so minus 2 plus minus under the root b square, so 4 square minus 4ac, so I will write 4 over 2a, so 2 minus 2 plus minus square root 8, 4 times 2, so I will write 2 root 2 over 2. So from here we are having two real solutions plus minus root 2. Both solutions are real. Now come to second quadratic equation. I will be writing x is equal to minus b. So 2 plus minus under the root b square. So I will write 4 minus 4ac. So minus 12 divided by 2a. So 2. So I can write 2 plus minus square root. So it is coming out negative value so 2 root 2 over 2 so from here we are getting complex valued solutions 1 plus minus i root 2 and we will reject this as it is complex valued complex solutions so only two solutions are accepted as it is real valued solution i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe Bye-bye till next video friends. Good luck and take care of yourself.